this is Michael Van Putty with Channel 8 ESPN News. One of our stories tonight is the new no pass, no play law. It is the new law that requires students in high school and middle school to pass five out of six subjects or they cannot participate in any school sport. Now here's Jeff Smythe with a look at the sports world. Jeff? Thanks, Mike. Today I'm going to talk a little about the hot players in the NBA and Major League Baseball. First of all, Larry Bird, one of the greats in basketball, has something to say. He says, we can't win a championship with the way the bench is playing now. We've got to get better play from them. And also Don Mattingly of the Yankees and Ozzie Smith of the Cards are a rich company of 2,230,000 <coughs> and 2,340,000. Mike? Thanks, Jeff. Now we take you to Margo Carlson in Houston, Texas. Margo? This is Margo Carlson reporting in the Star of Hope Shelter in Houston, Texas. Here is Patty Turner who lives here. Patty, will you please tell us some things about the shelter? Yes, the shelter is a place that families live that they have no place to go. Patty, will you please tell us some rules about the shelter? We have to go to bed at 7.45 and wake up at 5.30. We also have to be with our families the whole time. And you cannot take food into the... Into... Turn it. Into... Into any rooms. Life must be really strict at the shelter. It is, but at least it is somewhere to live. Now we all see that some homeless people do have places to go at shelters. Back to Mike. Michael. Thanks, Margo. Now for some weather, here's Beth McGregor. Thank you, Mike. Today's weather is closer to spring than winter. High 42, low 31. Wind out in the southwest. Satellite picture shows cloud cover from Colorado to the New England states. Boston had the AP zero, and San Diego had the nation with 86 degrees. A cold front is on the way to Michigan in the Upper Peninsula. In, De in the Detroit area, there, there is a chance of snow showers if, with a high tomorrow of 18 and a low of 3 with winds light and variable. Dress warm with, the, with wind chill will make you f feel colder than it is. Now to you, Mike. Thanks, Beth. Now we take you to T.D. Paul Chaudhary in Jackson, Mississippi. T.D.? Thank you, Michael. This is T.D. Paul Chaudhary, and I'm reporting live from Jackson, Mississippi with Chrissy McKenney. Ten-year-old Chrissy is the youngest volunteer at the Mississippi School for the Deaf. What do you do at the school, Chrissy? I spend a few hours each day giving them baths and dressing them. Are you uncomfortable sometimes? At first it was like starting at a new school in a different country where people speak a different language. Was it hard to learn sign language? Well, it wasn't easy, but I learned. Do you like helping the kids there? Yes, I think it feels good to help others. Chrissy, do you have any advice for the kids who would like to work with disabled people? Yes, it seems hard but at first, but keep trying it. You'll enjoy it. And now to you, Michael. Thanks, T.D. Another one of our stories tonight is the booster rocket test for the Discovery Shuttle to be launched this year. It was really super, said one of the more than 9,000 people watch watching this event. The rocket was tested to check for fuel leakage, leakage which led to the Challenger's failure in 1986. Discovery will be the first shuttle to be launched since the Challenger failed. Now here's Jeff Smith with one more look at the sports. Jeff? Thanks, Mike. Now I'll have some scores in the NBA and NHL. The Pistons in L.A., 106-104. The Knicks beat the Celtics, 106-98. Jazz beat the Bucks, 111-107. Blazers beat the Kings, 98-91. And for the NHL, the Oilers, 5, Islanders, 1. Devils beat the North Stars, 4-3. That's my sports update for Thursday. Back to you, Mike. Thanks, Jeff. This is Michael Vandeputty saying good night from the Channel 8 ESPN News team.